What's up, bros? It's Dirty Fest, takeoff time. We're loading into the car. We're deciding, check this out. <laughs> Trying to decide. So I'm bringing, let me turn around. Bringing the AMX 250. But we're thinking we'll probably want another bike to ride around since it's like our cabin might be far from Dirty Fest. So we're gonna grab the dirt jumper. What's up, y'all? We just left the house. We're still in town. We're in Gilbert. Um, we grabbed the dirt jumper because Aiden was like, hey, dude, we need to bring the dirt jumper. And then Bodie over here was like, Bodie. <laughs> He's like, yeah, dude, it's got a shock. So we're bringing the dirt jumper. Taryn, what are you most excited about for Dirty Fest? Uh, seeing, seeing everybody again? Stayed in the, like, cabin. The mini cabin? Mom? Seeing our friends. Yeah. We got, we got lucky. We got in one of the uh, deluxe cabins on site at Dirty Fest. So we'll show you that when we get there. But... We'll, uh, we'll update you along the road. All right, you'll know this corner if you know, you know. I-10 West, West, Lovekin Boulevard. I'm just gonna shout out to the B-29ers. This is the view from up top. There's my kids. What's up, T? It's my boys. This is the view from 360. From our, we have a cabin that basically looks like that. But we are, on ours, we're up here on the top. And it has two rocking chairs. Kind of cool. I'm gonna head downstairs. And you go down the spiral staircase, and then there's the fire pit. It's kind of crazy, you guys. Same price as they, uh, this is the front. Same price as a hotel. So, you walk right in, go up the stairs, there's a lock up here. There ain't much space, but dang, there's a bed. So you don't have to shut the slider, but you just have to shut the Up slider. here. <laughs> no, babe. I highly don't recommend you go up there. It's perfect though for kids. <laughs> no place to sit. Little place to hang out. Keurig, coffee, microwave, little cooker, dishwasher, sink, fridge, toaster. You see what's back here? There's. Hold on. Full shower and a bath. Oh, I didn't know that existed. Gonna Are you guys going to be bunking? Uh, I would prefer to. Ah, well, I like upstairs. If you say up to you guys, this place is a trip. I'm going to do a walk around real quick with you because it is um, amazing. These cabins are so dope. But I'm going to show you the outside. It's crazy. Watch this. All right, so we got the bikes chilling up here on this porch. That's the sunset. super super rad and then this is like our private 
little fire pit over here. Hang out. Fire pit. Little bench. Table, rather. Jeez. Walk out here and show you the front. So, here's the rest of the cabins out front. There it is. And then the Tordy Fest is right there. Right up that hill. In fact, like, I have a little zoom. That white vehicle is parked at the Dirty Fest campsite. Super stoked. All right, what are you doing? I'll put, put these babies in sport mode. Because <laughs> we're going to be walking uphill. I like where your head's at, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So on Fridays, when we first got there, uh, arrived early in the morning on Friday, right as the gates were opening, we walked in, uh, went, set our stuff down at the Supercross tent, and then just walked around, met everybody, saw who was there. This is the footage from that. You'll see everyone from Old Bones to Magoo. I didn't expect to see Magoo out there. That was pretty rad from Biltwell. So check that out. Check out the footage of all the vendors, and we'll be right back. Ready? Yeah. Ah, uh, have you tried any of my scab? Hey, I'll take it a shot. <laughs> All right, good enough. Where's the bag? You can buy Eddie's scabs. Chill out, those spicy. <laughs> he got, <laughs> he's got those spicy. He's got plenty. Myself. <laughs> All right, so this is Friday. We're just walking around. We found Eddie. Found Eddie's booth. So he's over here. When you first walk in. You're gonna walk up the hill. You will see Eddie's over here You'll on the hear corner. Some theme soon. Some yeah. theme music. It's very appropriate music. You'll see his new torker. Mmm. Brand new graphite graphites. The real ones. Yeah. When I was a kid, dude, as soon as you saw that, you were like, oh, somebody has a mom and a dad at home. Right. <laughs> you see my dirt skirt? Dude, look at that. Oh. I had to hone that thing out. Did you really? Yeah, because it was only an inch, you know. <laughs> Back in the day, yeah, they were just. That's awesome. Ooh, you got the tri grips. Yeah, it's a little. That's it's old school, I, dude. I love that. I love that, dude. That's the best part of the whole thing. The real deal, because that'll happen. Bro, okay. So when we were kids, Aiden, these were the grips we all rode because we could afford them. They were like three, four bucks. It was only one thing, but this happened every single time. Every ten minutes, after getting new grips, you put a coin in here. And if you didn't get a coin, that would pump through. Cool stuff, man. But anyway, there's the Eddie Fiola. The EF. Pro former, not performer. Nobody get mad. I saw you down there this time. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey! We're here at Jordy Fest. Eddie Fiola, Bill Ryan, what are we doing? Eddie, look what just dropped today. The Torker frames. Back in the day, I used to ride a Torker. A lot of people don't know that I rode Torker before I rode a GT. So we have the Torker frames out. There's a limited run. Uh, get them while they last. There's not too many left. So if you're out there, check it out. TorkerBMX.com and get your bike. TorkerRacing.com. There it is. Even better. That's a good. It'll get you to the right side. <laughs> All right, so we're out here at Dirty Fest. First person I see, Bill Allen's what? out here. Crew Jones in the house. Crew Jones, he's signing shirts for my kids, but yeah, dude, swing by, you guys. Look at all these shirts that he's got. I'll Red Army. The one. How's that? There you go. He's got his books. I'm getting myself a number plate. Nice. 
He's got movies, he's got mini plates, he's got keychains, hats, bandanas, stickers, you can get selfies. Come out here and see Bill Allen, you guys. Thanks, guys. We are here at Dirty Fest 2. I'm really excited because we're at the Eddie Fiola booth and we've got Mindy Hi. here. Rad Designs has the coolest stuff you'll ever find in like in the world, especially for us old school BMXers. Look at everything we've got. Mindy, give us an idea of what you have here. Like there's a thousand million shirts. So we've done some throwback items. The Morales Fiola one right here. This one I repopped the art with Eddie and Bob's approval. Very cool. And we've done it in a few colors. We did it in a traditional yellow, white, blue, but then I really liked this color combo, so I figured, yeah, why not? Yeah. But we tried to do a playback of some of those colors that are popular. Yep. And they seem to be very like. This is the one I'm grabbing, the, the Rad Designs 1986. Such a cool picture with the, you got Eddie. Super, super cool. You got the typical Rad. Everyone knows this, the photo from Rad. The Eddie Fiola logo, it's fantastic. The Dare one is really cool too, I like that one. Yeah, that one's a fun one. We just brought that out last year and everybody really likes this one. That's so rad. It's always fun to do a play yeah. off the Dare logo. Anytime you get a mashup, I love it. Yes. All right, and then you've got Eddie Scabs. You're selling yes. Eddie Scabs, edible scabs. We've got Eddie Fiola's Scab Jerky, Extreme <laughs> Sports Jerky. So. It's teriyaki flavor. We do have one that is spicy with red pepper flakes. Yeah. And then we also have another one that is mango habanero. So. You got me there. Yeah. Like that. All right. Where can we find you online if we're not at raddesigns1986.com. Awesome. All right. Check them out, raddesigns1986.com. All right, you guys, we are here. I've got Morgan from Billet BMX. Got some really cool launches this weekend because of the Gary Turner collab. We're gonna take a look at them. Let's take a look. Bro, good to see you. You too. Dude. So I'm right. Morgan from Billet BMX, and we did a collab with Gary Turner, and here's our custom products. So we have a, a stem, it's 53 millimeter, has a Gary Turner logo engraved on the top after anodized, so it's silver. Uh, has a Gary Turner logo on the side with a nice pocket. Uh, the bolts are all hidden. It's a reverse mount, so I can keep the, the top real clean. And then we got the Gary Turner script. Billet BMX is kind of hidden, and then 53 millimeter. So this fits the one and one eighth um, forks, threadless. Super cool. And then we got Lots a red, obviously. We got a blue, purple, black, a gold. And then I am working on a chrome. It's at the chrome shop. Sweet. And... Here's, a, here's like kind of the box sticker of, of the Gary Turner collection. So these are being released today here at Dirty Fest and on BilletBMX.com. Um, the next item is, you can get it right there, is our, our stem clamp. 28.6, it's got a shim in the middle. Yeah, so the shim will make it fit a 25.4, the older old school bikes. Show off that bolt, dude. The bolt's the coolest part, man. Yeah, so this clamp is, the retro style, but we made it our modern, modernized version of it with a stainless steel bolt. And instead of a six point nut, I did this cool round custom piece uh, with the Gary Turner logo engraved on it. So it's really cool, nice little touch. Here's the gold pop, the red pops. There you go. Super, super cool there. And then we got our real popular chain tensioners. Yeah. So what I, what I like about these is the chain tensioners, you can actually adjust, and so you get the perfect alignment, and it's not just a guessing game. That's what makes these are really nice. They've got the recessed hidden bolt, so you don't have a bolt sticking out that can nab your shins if you fall. Super, super clean. Love the look. There you go. 3 8 10 millimeter axle. And here's our normal billet BMX, you can compare them. So the billet BMX has our shield. With the numbers, Gary Turner says Gary Turner with the Gary Turner shield. Super and then that shield moves back and forth to align up uh, with the numbers. So you can make that axle perfectly straight in your dropouts. Brilliant. Also, we include the tools. We don't cheap out. So oh, yeah, there is. You have the right stuff yeah, included. Yeah, I didn't even see that. When I was originally started coming out and yeah. selling these, people were like, what tool do I need? So I just started giving it to the guys. Yeah. So it's just, you got the right stuff for the job. Makes it easy. Um, as well with the collab, we have a t-shirt. 
Um, it's right back here. Yep. And then we also, it's a t-shirt. Then we got a hoodie that I'm wearing, Gary Turner. And then we also have the Super Racing Place stickers yeah. for the collab. So Super cool. Releasing man. today. Should be do pr pretty well. Assuming it's probably going to sell out. And then um, talk to Craig about possibly doing some more products and, and releasing some other, you know, yeah. parts down the road too. Super so. cool, man. Yeah. Stem caps. And they're not just cheapos. That. Yeah, that has a nice compression out in there. All and then the I started cars. my first bike was a 93 GT, so that's real excited about that Gary Turner collab because of that. These are your axle, here's your D's nuts, and then here's one, if you got the other profile style. There's a character with the D's nuts and the, all the wrenches, which we'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Watch that, do that again. Watch, watch the way this works, this is cool. Fits on there perfectly so you don't mar the threads, it doesn't mess up any of the anodizing anything else it also comes with the aluminum washer that locks in place that way you don't scratch up your frame it fits nice and tight it's really cool and it's always the right size and they've got a gazillion colors and it also fits six point so one side's 15 millimeter it'll do six point like usually a stock 3 8 axle nut and it does our d's nuts the other side is 17 millimeter uh, which fits a lot of the other larger um, BMX axle nut axles and also our 14 millimeter version. Cool stem. Yeah, that's our skull stem. That's 57 millimeter. Hidden bolts again. Yeah. And then we got the same one in all chromed out. I don't even know if it's going to show up, dude, because it's so yeah, chrome. It's in blinding. Here's, here's a red one. Yeah, that's really cool beautiful. show pieces. You know, I mainly focus on. Show builds or, or cruisers. Get it back the way it was. Got the pedals. Yeah, there's all our pedals. Good spinner drum. For days. These are all billet aluminum, heat treated cages, lifetime warranty on the spindle. Nice. Super heavy duty. Cool, man. Yeah, and has a matching keychain. Oh, no way. Look at that. That's cool, man. All right, we can find you at billetbmx.com. Yeah, billetbmx.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at billetbmx. If you have any questions, you can DM or email me. More than happy to help you out with your bike or any fitment questions or anything you may need. Um, and we also got a bunch of our show bikes out here. You guys want to film some of that with yeah. a lot of our components. Appreciate you, brother. Nice seeing you. Yeah, dude. Uh, white racing doesn't have the brakes on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put them on right now. That's the ML26. That's the older one. I'll grab this for me, brother. Yeah. You don't have to mess with it. Cool. Appreciate it. Dude, dude yeah. Appreciate your time. Yeah. It's about 199 I think. I need to get them. Dude, they're, got that camera. they're so nice, dude. So it, like, it literally comes so it with. Plugs into the iPhone. It plugs into the iPhone. Does but, it have other plugs? Like, I have yeah, dude, look at this. So this is how it comes. This charges it, right? Oh, awesome. And so this is the receiver. Oh, it has, has that. Has that kind. So you can literally just attach it to whatever, and then it charges. I literally turned this on the first time this morning. Oh, yeah, dude. Those are nice. That's what I got. Oh, dude, I wanted to get like nicer. a $4,000 one. Well, yeah. Let me start with this. I got a, I have a Rebel, dude. Mine's like five nine nine. Yep. And then I have, it came with a, a big mic that it was on. Yeah. Perfect, dude. That's all you yeah. need. Probably, You'll get it. Probably plenty. I'm like, I'm not shooting weddings. You know? No, dude. Trust me. All my shit's on an iPhone, so. How does, have you used this style? So this goes in. Yep. So How far do you think that'll go? These have little things that'll go on. This this is a good directional mic, dude. So it'll go pretty well. Space, yeah, yeah, it'll How it'll. How far do you think? Ten feet, probably. Yeah. You'll be good, because it's directional. So as long yeah. as you're pointing at the person, you're perfect. Cool. Yeah, good stuff, dude. I'll be back, bro. Yeah. If you want to do something. All right, y'all. Welcome back to Big Bike BMX. We're here at Dirty Fest Two. I've got the legendary Magoo. He's got a booth out here, and we're going to talk about some cool stuff that he's got going on. And you know that I'm not going to go into the history of Magoo. You, you guys know who Magoo is. If you've read a BMX magazine, you've gone to a freestyle show, you know Magoo, please. So let's talk about what you got going on. I was walking by earlier, and you were showing me some helmets that you had, 
I'm really psyched about that. Tell me more about it. Yeah, so I uh, aged out of BMX 17 years ago and started a motorcycle parts and accessories company. And uh, we got one foot still firmly planted in the dirt, so yeah. everything we have is real motocross inspired. Right. The open face helmets are great for choppers, but they're even better for retro BMX, quite frankly. And we that's why love here. them. Yeah. I miss them, dude. Yeah. And so that's what the, the coolest thing was like, hey, I've got these helmets. You show me the helmet, and I'm like, that's exactly what I remember. No one's doing that right now for us. There's a lot of uh, open face helmets out there, but uh, none that have as many colorways, quite frankly, or as, or as many broad sizes. And we do all of the accessories that really tart it up and give it that retro feel. Goggles, visors, gloves. Yeah. It's all very 80s BMX retro inspired. The visor, so I put a visor on my on my current like BMX helmet that I bought, like a ProTech helmet. People are always asking me, how'd you get a visor on there, all of that. Your helmets already come retro. They look exactly, you guys, they look exactly like the ones that we had when we were 14. Yeah. They are comfortable though. They have all the modern like safety features, but they're it looks DOT like our, certified. They're it, DOT certified. But yeah. they look like our old school helmets. Yeah, That's they, they are, they, they are inspired by the seventies bells that yeah. I grew up wearing. It's yeah. perfect. Where can I get them? Uh, BillWellInc.com. Okay. And that's B-I-L-T-W-E-L-L-I-N-C. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, man, uh, uh, there's a logo right there. Yeah. There, yeah. There you go. Uh, Bill yeah. It's, uh, and on our gloves are arguably even cooler. Yeah. I, uh, dumped off all our, we're, so we're raffling a bunch of stuff at yeah. this event. Uh, we've got a dozen helmets and 50 pair of gloves and goggles. And I showed it to Mike Miranda and his head exploded. Yeah. He was so psyched he stole one of the uh, prizes. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I feel like I if I feel like if I could have took you in a fair fight, I would have took the helmet. Oh, you, can, you take me. You take me. I'm a, I'm Brother, a pushover. It's so thanks for I, hanging out. It's good I to see I appreciate you. it, man. Always. Thanks a lot. Thanks yep. a lot. We'll see you guys. Check out builtwell.com. Check out these helmets. You're gonna love them. See ya. All right, you guys, check this out. We're over at the dance comp booth. They've got some really cool keychains. Look at this. Dirty fest stickers. Dirty fest stickers. This right here, you guys, this is the coolest one I've seen, though. How cool is that, you guys? Love this. Check out Dance Comp. You know Dance Comp. Everyone knows Dance Comp. Order some chains and stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, they understood the assignment. They understood where they were coming. The Jack Daniels. Or the, D the DC. <laughs> it's not, not JD. That's so cool. All right, y'all, here we are at the Old Bones. Got the gloves. Look at that, that's cool. Crush made these for them. This is probably my favorite hat that they have out here today. Love that. Script. Part time. The all black gaskets. That hat's cool. Super, super cool, man. Yeah, more knee, knee gaskets. gaskets. Love that. Ankle sleeves, knee gaskets. The ice, the ice ones. The ice yeah, sleeves. yeah. These are the best. Ice sleeves. That's what you guys. So these, these are. It's a tube. It's a sleeve. You can wrap it if you got an elbow injury or your wrist hurts, whatever. This is automatically cold or hot if you microwave it, and it's instant relief and it is ice cold when you put it on just like right now if i were to slide this on trust me when i tell you it's ice cold i don't know how they do it it's magic but pretty cool stuff man love it we'll be back dude we'll get the same thing all right all right you want to start off on this this is a torker and a lot of people don't know that i wrote for torker before i wrote for gt and i actually um rode a bike similar to this and got a cover shot on BMX action by some motocross action back then. And uh, so this frame is a new school geometry but looks old. It's got a 21 inch top tube, 21 and a quarter I think. It's got a mid-sized bottom bracket, um, threadless headset. Uh, you're gonna have, it only comes with the frame and fork. Now these forks are kind of like a Pochima fork but they're tapered, so they're tapered at the very end, so it's kind of slender. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the dirt skirt. Thing. Yeah. So, oh, so yeah. I was in the garage <laughs> and I found a dirt skirt and I had to open up the hole because it's an inch 
and these are inch and an eighth yeah. and to make it you know nostalgic right i i slid that on there and, and i i i shit you not <laughs> while i'm honing out the inside of this dirt skirt uh -huh. i get a phone call from brian Spurrow. no way the guy who invented this wow. right the guy that invented the gyro Wow. The, the guy, and, and anyhow, he, he was just going, hey, what's going on? I heard Dirty Fest was supposed to be happening this weekend. Tell me a little about it. And I told him, and, and uh, hopefully he shows up. But, uh, I hope so. Yeah, and the welds are beautiful. just beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So these rims are the graphite tough wheels with the large, it's a tough wheel two uh, hub. Real graphite. Yes. Yeah. When you see this, when I was a kid, that was like, you saw this gold. You knew somebody had a mom and a dad at home. <laughs> that, you know I mean? They have money. How did you get that? The, the only problem with these new school is that the, the, the smallest chain three wheel is a 16. Yeah. Maybe a 14 if you can find it, but a 16. Yeah. And um, I think I want to do new school 25 9 right. just to get it up and out of the way. So. Yeah. You still got plenty of room for cherry pickers here too, which yes. is so rad. Any of the new school bikes that I see, you don't have any cherry pickers. Yeah, it's built right up there. Um, I might have found a guy that's going to float me some um, gold Shimano DX. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so I cool. think that's the only thing I need. That and some comp threes. Oh, yeah. there you go. Comp threes. I remember that. It's a look back, one-handed look back, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, I've That's seen, it. I've seen that, that was picture. one of the very... Um, the random things I remember. You know what I mean? I've dropped on my head so much, but <laughs> I'm like, one-handed look back. I remember that. It picture. was one of the very first posters that they were selling out of my, uh, Bicycle Motocross Action at that time. So yeah. I think it was my poster of doing that. I think it was uh, Stu Thompson doing a big jump over some Porsches. Yeah. And oh, I RL, picture, yeah, yeah. I think RL was jumping over his truck. I can't get up like the dropouts. Dude, the dropouts are yeah. huge. Look at that. Compared to what they used to be. Right? They were paper thin. Yeah, paper yeah thin. that is really thick. Yeah. So that's cool, what I noticed man. about today's. That's so cool. Getting on a bike from back then. Now I'm going. How did we? Right. How did we survive? Tell me about this one, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this one. This one's cool. All right. Look, it's got a Supercross stamp in the back. So this is this is a the new style uh, former pro. Yep. We're gonna call it a former pro, made by Supercross. It's the Legends brand. So LegendsBikeCo.com. Um, gyro tabs. Are yeah, we got the gyro tabs. Got the uh, threadless. Headset, the mid-size bottom bracket. What's it's the head a, a uh, 72, and it's a 21-inch top tube, so no layback seat post needed. Yeah. Mm. Um, all made out of 4130 chromoly. Uh, okay. Mid-size bottom bracket. The only problem, I don't know about the mid-size. You have to press them. In, yeah, you got to press them in. You know, and to make your cranks work right, you have to find that. Just that middle piece to that fit, shit. right? Yeah. And if they or didn't fit, binding. then you gotta pound it back out, yep. start over again, add that extra shim in there. Anyhow, and then we also have the forks that are oh, yeah. also a Bojima look-alike. Oh, they really do. But we have an extra peg. extra peg insert on oh, that. Wow. That is perfect, dude. That's the thing I run into right now, is pegs don't fit on any yes. of our big bikes or anything. Oh. That's fantastic. So this, and then we decided to try out an aluminum freestyle frame. So that's this one here. That one? Oh, okay. So you picked up you picked up the chromoly. Yeah. And it's light. Pick this one up. One Pick this one up. Ready? <laughs> Stop. <dude. laughs> that's air. That is nothing. I do. That thing is bigger thing. Yeah. This thing. Wow, dude. Look at that one. How are you? Where's uh, Sydney? She'll be over tonight. Okay. Yeah. That is amazing. We'll just come over and get the tickets. Hey, oh, shit. John Bolton. 
Hey, hey, John Bolgens. <laughs> Has anyone told you you look a lot like John Bolgens? Have you heard oh, that, that guy. Today? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell they keep telling me I look like Eddie Fiola, and I go on Tom Cruise. Who the fuck says that shit? No, you're too tall. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Hey, I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, what is Mark? You like that? Yeah. Yeah. I can feel the way you're And then, babe, look. There's Kevin and Bernie from Prison 808. They're out here. Do you need we'll a wrench to, to fix those guys. bars? Oh, God. Somebody fell. They're right. landing hard. We're going to head over to the Supercross booth, dude. Good. Uh, oh. This your mic? I should leave. We'll get her right All right. Here we go. Friday night. This is the craziness. Okay, so... After the, the initial events that happened during the daytime, the practice runs and things like that, uh, went back to the cabin that we had, quickly you know, ate something, rolled my bike down to the basketball courts where they were going to do the foot down and the freestyle show. So I had a blast doing that. The foot down was, was pretty awesome. They had a wave one, wave two. They kept the top three in each wave. And then the finals were those six down to the two. Now, I got the footage from wave one and wave two. However, at the finals, uh, Mike's like, hey, everyone make the circle smaller. So everyone made the circle smaller. There were some kids next to me, not my kids, but they were, there were some kids and they couldn't see. So I kind of pushed them up into the front so they had a really good view. Um, but unfortunately that meant I didn't have any good footage and that's fine. Um, so basically, you know, when you're watching this, when you get to the finals, uh, the S&M, S&M was the one who took it. So congrats to the foot, foot down uh, winner. Super, super cool experience to see that and watch it. It was so much fun. Ryan, what's your prediction? Like overall, like the winner? Yeah. Oh, man. I would say... Uh, all right, can I have all the Mad ones? Dog. Mad Dog, yeah. In here. All the ones in, all the twos on the uprooter. <laughs> Eddie, dude, that's where I'm going. All right. All the ones. All right, here we go. All right, all the twos. Make sure you back up, back up twos, back up twos. All right, so here's how we're gonna do it with it with the vets. You guys will start riding in a circle, and then I'll say go. All right, that's how we'll start. Remember, everybody has to make contact. Hands and feet stay on the bars, and that's it. For two, please move back until we tell you. When. We have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When we drop down, when we drop down, three, when we drop three, so we four, when we get down to three, we'll stop. Okay. Ready, set, go. Game on. Foot down. All right, who's that? Anyone up? Anyone out? Anyone out? Anyone out? Anyone out? Anyone Banging and scratching, scratching and banging. Oh, we got one down. We're looking for, we're looking for a couple more. Spring get busy with the boys. Oh, it's the battle of the big bands. Here we go. We're all in. And, oh, we got another one. We got two down. Oh, we got to four. We got to five. We got five. We got four. We need one more down. One more out. You gotta make contact. You gotta have fun. Yeah! All right, stop, stop. That's good. Now you, you three go out. You three go out. I tell you, there are some legends out here tonight. All right, let's let's get going in a circle. One, two, three, six, seven. I got seven riders again. We're gonna work down till we get three. All right. Who wants to see some carnage? Smell it now, but it's gonna smell like Ben Gay tomorrow. Whoa! I used to race ABA with some of these guys. Now they're all racing AARP. Come on, we need contact. We need contact. Oh, oh, oh! Double whammy, triple whammy, and there's one more gone. One more gone. Gotta look for somebody. The mighty Oaks. Oh! 
When we lose him, we lose him. I think the average age, age is deceased. There's probably, I don't know, if I, as I look at the, at probably, I don't know, a hundred broken bones total. Maybe, maybe more. A hundred broken bones? Yeah, maybe I ripped up knees. How, how many of you here have ever fallen off a bicycle? Hey. So let's hear it for everyone that fell off their bicycle already tonight. And like in that movie Gladiator, let's hear it for those who are about to give it right now. All right, here we go. Remember, you got to make contact. We're gonna pay to we're gonna pay to third, and it's a good payout. But before I give the payout, let me tell you this. We're gonna have that raffle. We're gonna give all that stuff away, so be friendly. And I wanna say that thanks to flatsociety.com, remember that flatsociety.com? Just put another hundred dollars into the purse. What? Thank you, flatsociety.com. Thank you. All right. We're gonna start it right now. We're gonna go around in circles. And then we're gonna start. One, two, three, we're missing one. We're missing, there he is. All right, here we go, put down, one, two, three, go! It's on, gotta make contact, gotta make contact. There's contact, a two-four, gotta make contact. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. So we're down to two. Sarah, well, we had, we had this game last year and it was all world. And we had some finalists and it was a, oh man, it was WWF on bicycles. And this is two of our finalists from last year. Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. All right. Who, who was the person that went out just before them? I didn't see. There you go. That's your third place winner right there. All right. So this is for all the marbles, or half the marbles. Ah, 30% of the marbles. Anyway. Hey! I guess there's no question that there will be contact in this one. So now... Hold on. See, this is how it works. Reclamation bicycles. Reclamation bikes just donated another hundred dollars to the purse. Man, somebody's gonna make rent this month. Woo! Man, we're going from spam to skateboards. All right, here we go, guys. Got to make contact. Oh wait, I forgot something. I forgot something. Can everyone take one giant step forward? Yeah, yeah those were like, Man, y'all got some long legs all of a sudden. Yeah, I want to see, you know, like in boxing when they hit and you're in the front row and you get blood on you on the movies? We're about to see that right now. All right, guys. Here we go. Way before I go, let me just say something. Todd Spree, Todd Spree, one of the best writers I ever got to watch. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, get it on. There's some strategy here. There's some strategy. Somebody likes to be the big spoon. Somebody's the big spoon. Oh, some winky dinky. He's looking for you. He's telling him, can you climb on just some of this? Oh, no. There's some 
Gary's going for some back door action. Push him on the wheels, push them spokes. Use the same thing. Oh, didn't work three times. Is Rick Sullins? Well, Mike's running away. There's Dave Norrie. There's Sean from Flash Times up road. Arizona represent. freestyle show time this is pretty rad so at the very beginning you'll see uh there's a moment where you see dave nori walk over ask me a question he's basically like hey dude you want to be in the show um of course i want to be in the show but i don't have a routine at all he's like dude just do one of your routines bro i don't have a routine i just do tricks in front of my house and i had no plans no mention no prep nothing um i put pegs on my bike the Thursday before we took off, just so I could have pegs on there in case I want to do some back wheel hops. Got lucky. Um, and so he's like, hey, dude, you want to be in, this, in the show? He kind of explains the format. I was like, bro, I'm just here to watch. Not really, That is this probably isn't for me. Um, and then he's like, all right, look, you know, there's there's a really young girl in, in there that she was doing some, some flatland, riding on her seat, one-handed and stuff like that. It was pretty awesome. And uh, he's like, look, I just want to show flatland from you know, the youngest to the oldest, big bikes. And so that's what that's what sold me on. I was like, bro, I'll just go out there and do a couple of tricks that I know. Um, so, you, so I'm in the show, but I wasn't supposed to be in the show. All right, so enjoy this Flatland show. Enjoy all the B-roll. Um, there's a, a pretty big surprise here in the, mid, in the middle. <laughs>
God. That's what we all did in our heads. So here we are. We're watching Eddie on the ground, having a moment, freaked out. Uh, I see him move. I see him kind of get, get up, sitting up. I look over. I can see the blood and the blood and the dangly. It's just, it was gross, you guys. But I knew Eddie was okay. Uh, if he's moving and he's talking, he's okay. So I don't want all, say, two, 300 people that are around this this freestyle show looking at bloody Eddie, because that's our guy. That's that's our guy. He is the king of freestyle, and I don't want anyone to see him anything other than rat. That's, Eddie's one of a kind. So uh, just try and distract, go out and do a trick. So people are looking over here. I hear people, uh, you know, applauding. I look over, Eddie comes walking out. No hat, blood, the blood, waves to the crowd because he's the showman that he is, uh, and then stumbles back over to the the uh, the side, has a sit down, starts making fun of his jerky and talking about like the jerky. So at that point, we knew he was all right. He was just scuffed up, wouldn't be riding, um, but he's Eddie Fiola, right? So everything would be fine. We continue just to have kind of uh, just a good time in the jam circle. You will see that now.
All right, day two, Dirty Fest. This is Saturday. So I brought the drone out. You'll see the drone going over the track. I'm watching just people practice in the morning. Uh, but the, the most significant thing that I remember about Saturday and the most fun that I had was the autograph, uh, Legends autograph signing. So you would basically get your autograph item or swing by. The Torker tent had a Torker poster that, that was pretty awesome. And they had all the legends from Torker, everyone from all the racers, Started with Eddie King, Tommy Brackens was in there, Clinton Miller, everybody that wore a Torker jersey at some point in their life was probably in this line. I'll just be honest, there's way too many people to name. The significant ones for me though was, was to see Martin and Eddie. Um, so just shout out to Torker for including the freestyle people um, from Torker's history, Martin Aprio and Eddie Fiola. So that was cool to see them. Uh, went, just walked around, got autographs, uh, went over to uh, like at the S&M booth, got Mad Dog, uh, who else was out there? Damien Fulton, that was pretty rad. So you could just walk around and get autographs from everyone. So that's what we did. How do you know you're ready, Fiola? Sharpie at the ready. Ready to go. You have a Sharpie holster, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, what does that say? The real two live crew, Eddie and Martin. The, the real my two man, live crew. My man. Bart Taylor. <laughs> all right, we've oh, got Damien Fulton right here. Mr. Radical Rick. First of all, let me see this jacket, bro. You got to show this off. Look at this. This jacket. The Sharpies. You know that? You know that hand right there? How's it feel? <laughs> yeah. That spike speed wrench. It's the fumes. <laughs> Look at <laughs> the just kill you. I'm probably going to die an early death from, from how long, smelling all of that. How long did that take? That Hold took, on. Uh, Hold on. Look at my dude. Scuzzer. There's like a thousand colors in Scuzzer. <laughs> you did that with Sharpie? Or? Yeah. Sharpie. Stop. I love Sharpies. Look at it. It's like I'm a walking billboard you for really Sharpie, are. yeah, aren't I? Sharpie sponsor this man. I wish. Come, come. <laughs> Pay me loads of money. I yeah. love it. I love it. All right, so Damien's out here. Let me show you the merch real quick. There you go. You got the Radical Rick mugs, the coin. I think I'm going to pick up one of those, the patch, the sticker kit, the long-awaited book. Now you can grab one. And you got the hat. Sick, got the red hat. Yes. All right, brother, where can we find you if we're not at Dirty Fest today? Uh, Instagram, Damien Fulton or radicalrickbmx.com. There you go, you guys. Go check out Damien. Check out his merch. You grew up with him, you loved him. You got all this stuff. Thanks, brother. Thank you, man. Here we go. Let me show. Hey, Mark. How are you, man? Good to see you. All right. So Damien wrote his name on there in the smallest autograph ever, but it's there. Look at that. So if you get one, come by, get an autograph. That's cool, man. Thank you, dude. Awesome. All right, y'all. We're at Dirty Fest. Riders United in Dirt. So we created Dirt Society because we were wanting to create a brand to bring together the community of riders, whether you're on a Strider bike, you're on a big bike, you're on a BMX bike, you're a racer, you're a wheels freestyler, wheels. Yeah. whatever kind of bike you're on, we wanted to build that sense of community and bring the love that we have for our fellow BMXers and that family feel that we have and just be able to spread that. So yeah. no matter what your ability, your age, um, if you're outside, you're on a bike, you're doing something in the dirt with wheels. That's you're awesome. Of, you're part of the Dirt Society. All right, let's see what you got. Cool jersey. <laughs> So love Southern, it, love Southern it. Southern California business. Yep. Um, rider owned husband and wife team. Love and it. And we're doing everything in house from the embroidery to the printing. And Sick. We want to do this full time and get to just travel. You zoom on your banner so we can find you. Yeah. There you go. You guys check them out. They are supporting our industry and our Dirty Fest. So support them. Follow that stuff there. Just <laughs> screenshot it. And look it up on your phone. Yeah, Web is our local park. Also, Grand Prix in Paris is our local track. Nice. So. Follow them, y'all. Thanks a lot, guys.
trying to put a pad down. And then I just sucked in all the courage I could and ran as fast as I could in the, in the deep end. And uh, did it. And so that, I can't scratch it. I cannot just go up and kick it. Yeah, boys, what's yeah. up? What's up? Yeah, I would agree with you. Front side ground in that air. Yeah. That's the best, too. <laughs> You're good, bro. I'm just going to squeeze by it. Thanks, so. You're good. All right. Good talking to you. Yeah, you too, man. Old I'll Bones. Chill out. All right. I'll, I'll come back by. It's on the end by the you like our new tent, Isaac? I love your new tent, bro. Lizard Lounge. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a bunch of us that get that skate and bike together, we all got together and we're like, whoever pitches in for this tent can use it whenever they want. And we all put our logos on it and stuff. It's perfect. And uh, it's hard to see, but if you look in the background, all the people who pitched in there. Oh, Instagram, you can see it, yeah. Their Instagram handles are up there. Oh, that's it's great. Kind of cool. There's a good shot. You can see everyone's. That's fun, you guys. That's cool. Yeah, we have fun with it. You got the mannequin. It's Steve not creepy. McQueen. What, should, what should we call him? Sleep McQueen. Sleep McQueen. I don't know what to call him. <laughs> he needs to have a little tape. My hello, my name is name tag. You know. All right, you guys, comment below what you think we should name the old bones Sleeve McQueen oh, mannequin. mannequin yeah. All right. There's Brandon, so like, uh, message him. Let him know. There you go. This is what my vote is. <laughs> Adorable. Get the Bob Harrow booth. All oh, the cool goodies, goodies. I don't think they want to play, Ollie. You want a signature or you want a name on it too? Uh, do you have somebody? Uh, no, just a uh, name, just a print. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you get mine. Got Isaac out here. Thirty pounds. What you think, Isaac? She sent it. She came back in one piece. Heck yeah. What's up? Anytime your buddy jumps and comes back. Look how stoked she is. What? Stoked on it. For Pro-Am, you have to run zero. Zero what? Number zero. Yeah, you have to run number zero. Somebody just told us that, to tell you that. Yeah, they are taking You water? Your glasses are sick. Thank you, they're pit vipers. Shake it. Wait, where's it at? should be on the side. Someone else is Can you guys see? <laughs> All right. Yeah. We're outside. Yeah. Pretty fast. Look at that. Oh. Rad. POV. Coda. Have fun, y'all. Hey, hey, if you haven't already, follow me. And hey, boy, follow Coda. Don't follow me. Just follow my hand. If you are looking for in depth interviews and things like that, unfortunately, I couldn't get any time with Bill. Uh, to talk about twerker stuff. So check out uh, Cruising in the 808. Um, they were able to get some some pretty long, good interview footage with him. Uh, so look up the twerker stuff on Cruising in the 808.
<laughs> I just have to, dude. You know what I mean? It's the most hesitant thing ever. A sawzall, a sawzall on a C post, and then Chris is trimming a brake pad with a hacksaw. Oh, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna document this? Yeah. Okay, you want to hold the, all the fires and you cut it? You want to do both. Let's see. Oh, you can hold it. I'll cut it. My brake pad on that bike is rubbing the tire. And the brakes can't go any further down. So I'm going to trim this top off. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to trim the top off <laughs> at an angle so that we miss the tire. Miss the tire, okay. Um, so, maybe put it up See, now I was looking for the makeshift file. You don't have a file. That's why I'm doing this. That thing's done. It did, yeah. Did you get your bike back? I'm sorry, no, that was Bill's bike. It was your bike? Yeah. Okay, so when I sent you a message, it was... Yeah, but I was... There you go, baby. So tell me what you did. Too much. I was racing. Flip it over. <laughs>
stopper and it would pivot. I'm like, how am I going to do it? So I learned to do it like that. And then I was sitting in my garage and I'm like, well, what if I just spun it? <laughs> what the hell just happened? So that's how I came up with the with the spin. Because I had the peg, it was pivoting. The hardest thing about that trick is to actually pull it. In the dirt. Nice. So that's why I still geometry. modify my pegs to this day and I still don't show it. The geometry of that trick is a shorter peg and the longer. And all I did was put a basically tap out and put a little screw there. These usually thread in this. Yeah. Is and you had to cut the microphone. You gotta cut the microphone. You gotta cut the microphone. Dang. It's wild. All right. It, they would yeah. grab the seat like this yeah. and go like that. I okay, never learned it that way. That seems sketchy. Yeah, because it's going uh, so to have you. I literally just make sure I have a good, good speed. You know, and I, I throw it and then I grab. So I go like this and I just commit yeah. like that. Once you can get to that point. So I literally like grab the brake, push that, that white handlebar out and then go to the seat. Then it's just a matter of because I have a pick, I'm going to go here, hit it, and then turn the bars like that. I don't want to be like that at first. Yeah, because it makes it throw. Yeah, so you got to throw it a little tip. bit to the left. That's the one thing I'm always scared of is like that. Yeah. You should always wear safety gear. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to get this right. Full safety. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Here, you guys. Yeah. This is <laughs> so <laughs> sketchy. It's going to... I respect how sketchy this is. Under. Under. Matter of speed. Okay, let me just come around. No pressure. No pressure at all. The surface is totally perfect. Commit! Okay. okay, so I went too far, right? So now I'm going to go a little bit slower with the speed, but still the same amount. Ready? This amount of speed? Commit! Oh, so it's like it's like darts. You go you go a little bit back now. Why don't you try backwards tonight? What's that? Why don't you try backwards? Backwards? Okay. Okay. I'll try that. Ready? Set. Commit. Oh! Then like that. See? Now I'm solid. Great. Okay. Do a little. It's the bike, it's the bike. It's the bike. Ladies and gentlemen. The bike is just staying on it. There you go. It's a dirty fest. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. You should win a medal for that. Yeah. Oh. I've never done this on dirt to this extent. And then the easy way to ride out? Yeah, easy way. The easy way. way. Drop the bike down. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Woo! The silliest bike trick in the in the world. Uh, that's for you. I'll give you the little story. As I'm as I just got on Haro, I'm on a green. This green is the raddest freaking trick. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna do it like he's while doing it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Look at this. Wait, the first time I did this trick, I was in uh, my first contest as Haro, and I pretended like. I was asleep. Okay, so I said, okay, cue up my music. I had a full face helmet on, all leather gear, brand new, Pearl Master, green. The judges are right there, and I pretend like I'm asleep. And it was Herbie Hancock. Oh, yeah. It was the music, right? Thank you, Rocket. So it comes on, and I pretend like, hey, where am I? So I climb into, I hope you can do this. Climb up onto here like this. Get in position. And this was, I did this for the first time 10 minutes before my contest. And my mom said, you have to do that. And I'm like, mom, this is silliest trick. They're not gonna like it. And you crawled all the way through? No. <laughs> there's someone that can, There's someone that can do it, but it's not me. Oh my god. That was insane. Oh, oh my god. 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 O
convinced me to do that because she was taking pictures and she's like, hey, take a hand off. So I took a hand off and I kind of like relaxed and went underneath. And she's like, what is that? I'm like, oh, it's just some group in the room. I've never done it before. You have to do that. So when I did it, there's three judges, Mark, Brian Leithner, and Hugo Gonzalez. And I'll never forget their look on their face. They were just like, what the? Oh my God. <laughs> so now, what is it? Almost 39 years later, and I still do it, even in dirt. Yeah. That might have been the first Gumby in dirt, right there. <laughs>